pizza fam. All my foodies out there. I'm doing a little local stuff here in my hometown in Staten Island. A celebrated Sicilian joint called Brothers Pizza. Let's go try it. What's up, pizza fam? Doing a little local stuff today in my hometown of Staten Island, the rugged lands of Shaolin, at a celebrated Sicilian joint called Brothers Pizza. If you guys Google Brothers Pizza here in the North Shore of Staten Island, right under the name, on Google Maps, it will say a celebrated Sicilian slice joint. And uh, you talk to most people around here, they're gonna tell you this is the best place to go for Sicilian style pizza. The best in all of the island, and according to many, the best Sicilian in all of New York City. Now, uh, we're here to find out, guys. We're here to find out if that is true. Uh, according to the Boston Review, uh, the, guy, the guy from Boston liked their round pizza, gave it a pretty good score. So if their round pizza is good, and this place is known for their Sicilian pizza, that I'm expecting their Sicilian pizza to be really good. So let's give it a shot, guys. Gonna grab a nice, hot, warm slice. All right, so that took quite a bit of effort. There's so much cheese on this pizza, it's ridiculous. Let me just show you how much exactly. It's just oozing. Lava, Mount Vesuvius type cheese we're talking. Let's grab one quick. It's hot, it's so hot they didn't even reheat it. It was there on the platter, he just gave it to me. And it's still burning. Had to let it cool for a bit. The cheese is oozing. Here we go. Let's taste this thing. Got it. Took a while to get it. Let's adjust the lighting. Let's adjust the lighting. There right, we go. There you have it, folks. Sicilian style. Nice and thick. Seems fluffy. The fear of the soggy bottom, folks. The fear of that ever so dreadful soggy bottom that comes from the sight of every Sicilian slice that is overflowing with sauce and cheese. That's what I'm talking about, baby. This pizza is just fantastic. It starts nice and fluffy, and then it finishes with a massive crunch. Pretty good on the vertical test. Pizza's still somewhat hot, not exactly piping hot. I doubt this cheese would have stood on if it was right out of the oven, but as of now, Still pretty hot, looking good. All right, guys, let's inspect this heaping uh, pile of pizza. Um, now, look, Sicilian pizza, you want lots of cheese and lots of sauce. That's why people go for Sicilian pizza. And, you know, it's really hard to get it right. The Upside Down Slice, which was made famous by LMB Spumoni Gardens, the famous LMB, Spumoni Gardens. The upside down slice was invented so that the cheese can act as a barrier for the sauce, which can make the pizza soggy. Now, in this case, we have a pie that is partially upside down, meaning that in some segments of the slice of the pizza, there is sauce on the bottom of the cheese. And in other segments of the pizza, there is sauce on top of the cheese. It's very possible that there's both sauce under the cheese and on top. Now, if you notice, on many Sicilian pizzas, the cheese is a little whiter as opposed to yellower that you find on the, uh, the round pizzas. Uh, on Sicilian pizza, you got to put a lot of cheese on it. And so, in order not to make it too messy and greasy... The quality of cheese on Sicilian pizza is typically a little better, of higher quality. Maybe 30% fat, low moisture, and it tastes a little better as well. It's usually a little nuttier, 
than the low moisture stuff that many restaurants use on their standard round neo-neapolitans um, and i think this is the case here the cheese is really good really good low moisture mozzarella uh, nice and caramelized on the edges which is a plus i really enjoyed the cheese on the slice as well as the sauce sauce had a little acid to it not the sweetest probably not san marzano not the sweetest sauce but good but good um, i recommend the corner slices here they tend to be a little crispier a little charred on the edge cheese nice and caramelized almost like a detroit style not quite not quite detroit style but uh, definitely new york sicilian style and sicilian pizza wasn't even called pizza in sicily they don't call pizza pizza they call uh this style of pizza focaccia it's thick there's a lot more stuff on it, a lot more sauce and cheese, but they don't call it pizza. They call it focaccia. And so this style of Sicilian pizza here in New York was inspired by focaccia. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the fear of a soggy bottom that comes from the sight of every Sicilian that is loaded with cheese and sauce like this one is. It appears like this one, they did a great job here. Because it's not easy to put all that sauce and cheese on a Sicilian pie and maintain crisp on the bottom. Look at that nice dark brown char on the bottom. Lots of carbon dioxide got trapped in this dough when they made this pizza. When they made the dough. Because uh, it's really fluffy and airy. It's much lighter than it looks. You know, it's incredible, beautiful, beautiful pizza making. And when you take bites... It compresses the the pizza the pizza is pretty thick but when you take a bite into it it kind of compresses all that middle all that fluff kind of compresses and it just gets thinner and thinner because the foundation of every pizza is its foundation no pun intended and uh, they did a great job here guys well that's all she wrote Guys, the verdict is in. Brothers Sicilian style pizza gets an 8.4 out of 10. That's right, guys. I had to think about it for a little bit. I was a little shocked. I was like, can it be another favorite? Another hit on Staten Island? Another Sicilian that I absolutely love to death. Not perfect. A little messy in the beginning. There was a lot of cheese I had to let drip off. It was a little too much. Really cheesy. But not you know, not too messy. Some of it dripped off, you know, but it wasn't as tight as my favorite Sicilian, which is the Da Vinci Square. Go and check that review out if you haven't already, because despite all those toppings, despite all that cheese and sauce, it held up. The crust held up. The foundation held up. Nice and crunchy, fluffy center. That is the mark of a good Sicilian, folks. I don't know if I was in a good mood or I slept good last night, but yeah, man, 8-4. 8-4 for that thing, baby. Go out and get it. Brothers Pizza, Staten Island. Hope you enjoyed the review, guys. Please do like, share, subscribe. It would help me out. I do appreciate it. Look forward to our correspondences. And until next time, keep those bellies full. This is Antonio signing off.